Hello, I am so excited that you are here today. This is an episode you don't want to miss. And that mold starts growing right on the hardy backers. It yes. was much more expensive than I expected. Welcome to another episode of Tile Coach. My name is Isaac Ostrom. Today I am here with John and Nicole. Hi, I'm John. Hi, I'm Nicole. John and Nicole purchased this home a few years ago and noticed right away that there's a few things in the bathroom that were not done correctly. We bought this house about three years ago and uh, the bathroom is our son's bathroom and he's notorious for taking kind of long showers. We came home and realized that in our downstairs guest room there was a leak coming through the ceiling and running into the closet and quite a big puddle so that's when we first realized oh something is wrong with this upstairs bathroom so they found tile coach youtube gave me a call now let's go see what's going on with this bathroom we remove this tile see if it was properly waterproofed uh, because this does need waterproofing uh, any benches sills pony wall caps curbs these horizontal areas can be big problem areas if they're not waterproof correctly so let's check it out yeah so this is hardy backer there is there is no waterproofing in here there is uh, you actually see that that's a rusted nail right there and it uh it's definitely getting water if you see rust on a nail. I can't believe there was no waterproofing in this shower. Here's one thing that happens when you don't waterproof your hardy backer. You get this uh, black mold growing behind your tile. Water just has a place to soak in and that mold starts growing right on the hardy backer. So this hardy backer needs to be waterproofed. Well, now that we know that there's mold and actual water damage to this bathroom, we're going to have to replace it. We're Absolutely. going to have to move forward and replace this. Absolutely. And I think he, I showed you guys the crack in the tile that was right here. Yes. Even though it's dried out, this wood has been wet. Okay. And so you can see the, the OSB is just kind of chipping up. and So it's a really good thing that you guys caught this. And we, you know, right now, because if this would have gone on for years, yeah, this, you know, the water damage just grows and it would get in. This is an exterior wall. You got siding, you got a window. And so you guys are really lucky that you noticed this stuff. Gave me a call. So we have a few options. I mean, doing a repair is cost prohibitive because we're basically, we'd have to take out this entire course of tile. I don't even think we can find this tile anymore. If we're going to redo the whole enclosure and keep the tub, you're probably looking in like the $10,000 range. Were it was much more expensive than I expected. It was much more expensive. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, surprised by the whole thing. So. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and that's uh, keeping the tub. That's keeping the tub. Okay. Yeah. What if we were to pull the tub out? Yeah, if, if we were to pull, pull the tub out and make it a make a shower, just make it a yeah. shower, that could be done. I don't, nobody I don't nobody bathes. Yeah, <laughs> we have a shower. You know, I'm not really trying to keep the, yeah. the tub. I don't, yeah. I don't think I need to keep I, the tub. I don't think so either. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if we were doing that, I would say now we're probably up into that twenty thousand dollar range. I mean, it's it, it's pricey to get the whole thing replaced. I I I was thinking under ten grand. Uh, to do like the whole thing. It's but, an investment, but we know that in the long run, it's it's a it's a fixture of the house that gets used quite a lot. Daily, and it needs to right? be it needs to be done right. It needs so. to be. What if we did some of the demo ourselves? You know, that's a possibility. We usually don't like our homeowners when we're doing jobs to yeah. do the demo because yeah. it's like you know we just. We have the dump trailer, we have everything, yeah. but you know, since you guys are letting me film this video in your house and doing this, you know, I'm up for it. Um, I'll get the dump trailer here. We'll okay. just leave it parked out so you guys can just take your time with your demo. Yeah. Uh, we'll go into the showroom, pick some tiles, and yeah. then 
come back when it's all demoed. Okay, I'll get my shaving right. going. Let's, all right. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Now, since we were already there with the dump trailer, I had Ronnie give me a hand. We went ahead and got the bathtub out because it was such a big, bulky thing, and Nicole couldn't handle that herself. So we got the bathtub out, got it dumped, left the dump trailer there so that Nicole can get down on this demo. So I've started on the floor and I've noticed that I can get my crowbar pretty far under just this hardy backer board and the tile all in like one piece together. So I'm really excited because they clearly didn't put this down properly. It seems like that to me. So I can get really big chunks off of this one. Nicole did an excellent job on the demo and it did help that the hardy backer was not thin setted down and it wasn't even screwed down. It was just nailed down with some random nails. So now it's time to start the tile design process in our showroom here. Hey guys, Hi. good to see you again. Good to see you. So we're here to pick out tile. We are. Yeah. She's brought her stuff with her. Okay. She's ready. She's got her inspiration, her colors. Yep. All right, let's yep. go over to the table and let's awesome. start checking let's it out. So this is uh, our inspiration. Yeah, and that definitely has like all beautiful. of the colors that I want in there. So um, being the brown kind of like the floor and then the blue being the ombre of the shower. Okay. We were down in Palm Springs and I love crystals and love to drag my husband to rock shops as he calls them and we went into one and I found a beautiful Caribbean calcite and uh, it had some druzy in it and everything and I just said oh my gosh this is this is my inspiration for the new bathroom this is what I want to go for we had talked about some sort of some sort of fading tile and so we looked up we looked up ombre and we looked up a, a, a few different types of a fading tile so ombre so, is kind of colors leading from like solid to lighter sprinkling yes. different colors in as you go up yes okay so Definitely. we would start like floor from here yep and then build up mm -hmm. some whites every blue is a little different has a kind of different story to tell so you don't like your aquas yeah we do have one that's like in this tone also behind you in glass, um, I'm not suggesting that we do glass up the whole side, but I just want to give you the idea of blues. Yeah. I'm thinking more this I'm is blue. Yeah, yeah the okay. softer. You have white walls here, and so you think that matching the floor, you think? Yeah, it might be the floor. It would be dark. Yeah, that's what I think. Dark and match the floor. Same with this, like matching the floor. I like it. Because then if it's, mm -hmm. the, if it's the white and at the bottom. It's the same way we want, right? It's sideways like that. Exactly. That's what we're it's talking about. It's a great about. visual right here. Right? That's what we're talking about. If it's like dark blue at the bottom and white at if the top. If this was actually blue. glass enclosed, where would the glass... Where does the glass go? It sits on the bench. It would it sit, does on, the sit bench. on the bench. Yeah, it would okay. be notched Where does our door open bench. here? One panel notched around the door. We would probably hinge the door right off of here. Okay. And then you'd have another solid panel right here. Because your toilet's right here, so you can't really get in this way. So you'd hinge here, meaning you open yes. this way. Yes. Yeah. You can check we'll, that one out over there. We'll definitely clear the toilet. Yep. Thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, yeah. that's what I wanted to visualize. Okay, so right? that's our hinge in the middle, with yeah. with the curb things, right? Mm -hmm. You still think that would be okay to have the the floor come up just with that one piece, or would you just do it all in white? The little. I think oh. the way that I'm thinking about it, right, is the gradient is going to start from dark and it's going to go to light. And right. So having the light thing at the bottom, kind of like oh, at the same I level, got you. would stand out a lot. That's mm -hmm. a good point. That is a good point. Oh, we want sand down there. Okay. We want sand. Yeah. Want sand <laughs> yeah. There. Yep. Imagine that. Yeah. White, right? And then totally yeah, no, I'm, I'm getting, yeah. Yep. We want sand down there that You're right. uh, blends in with the floor. Yes. With all the floor. Yep. So yeah, it would it would look almost exactly like this. Horizontal yeah. pattern Horizontal. going yep. up. We do it on the curb, we do it on the bench. Got the pebbles on the pan. Same. Yeah. Pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Okay. I can I can I can see that now. Yep. I can see okay. it. Yeah, I think coming away would be Okay, it's kind of like a burn with the sand that came into the 
A yeah. dune. <laughs> there we go. It is so great. So it's exactly it what I'm feeling. I love how you brought these in for inspiration. This is so cool. And we just kind of matched the whole beachy sand waves and that ombre going off the wall is just going to be incredible. So. Yeah. This, yeah, is just, exactly. this is one of those projects I can get excited about. It's not just like white subway or something. Yeah. So. so now that we have the tile picked out and the tile ordered, the tile is gonna take three to six weeks because it is a handmade tile. This is Sonoma Tile Makers. They make it in Santa Rosa, California to order. So it's gonna take a little while. So we have a little bit of time. So I go ahead and order the shower system. And what I'm gonna use here is a revolutionary shower systems. Uh, there's a couple reasons for this. For one, it is a reliable, waterproof shower system that I trust and believe in, and also it is lightweight. We are using half inch wall board that's made out of foam with a cementitious coating on it, and all the components like the niche, the preformed bench, and the curb, these are all solid foam. The, the bench and the curb are not hollow like the Schluter Curdy ones. They are solid foam. I really like it. And the preformed shower is custom made. It is custom made to the slope I want, the size I want, and drain location that I want. If you want to see those videos of how we got the wall board up and this niche cut out, uh, I'll put the links in the description below so you can see those videos and make sure that you are subscribed and have your notifications on so you can see all the videos we make. the ridges of thin set underneath it giving it a hundred percent coverage and squishing out any of the air here those ridges have collapsed into one continuous bed of mortar giving this a really solid attachment to the subfloor underneath I'm just gonna slip this guy in. Solid. Now that we got the pan in, we're going to go ahead and get uh, the flow effects drain. Uh, these bonding flanges are the sturdiest, most user friendly drains out there for as far as bonding flange systems. And then in the, the flow effects, I'm, I'm backfilling these mortar lock joints so that the uh, bonding flange and the pan become one. That's one thing that's unique to flow effect here is these mortar lock channels on the bottom that lock the thin set into them. I'm gonna take some ABS glue. This is ABS cement, or you'll use PVC if you have uh, PVC waste pipes. Here on the west coast, we have ABS. I like to coat both sides, both the fitting and the pipe. And it doesn't matter which way it goes, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue it and push it into the thin set in the same motion. So that's it, that part is in. We got all the corners, all the band in. We got the band that went up and over the curb. Everything looks really tight. I like it. So now all I need to do is put uh, the large sheet that's going to go on the pan. So I'll just continue on here. One section out. My full sheet here. 
Try to line it up as best as I can. Something like that. Oh, come on. Yeah, probably the fastest shower prep I've ever done. I don't think I've ever done a shower prep in basically a half of a day. So I'm really impressed with the revolutionary shower system. So now that the shower system is completely installed, waterproof, ready to go, and the tile has finally arrived, we need to do a mock layout. So what we do is put some tape down on the carpet so that John and Nicole can place the tiles exactly where they want because we have three different colors. They know that they want some type of ombre gradient design, but we haven't finalized it. Some design software probably would have been helpful, but we do things old school. I like to have things out, move them around, physically touch them, move them, place them. I, I love doing tile layouts like this, so we let John and Nicole kind of put the tiles exactly where they want them. I have a couple of photos that we took of creating it here on the floor in a, you know, very straight across this color yeah, to this color static. to this color, yeah. very static. Yeah. You know, a couple sticking up, but uh, in a very symmetrical way, yeah? So I started playing around with the tiles a little bit more and realized I could really get like a wave shape pattern going and with the white it makes it look like the foam of the top of the wave so i'm really trying to work with these colors to make that wave that movement come into play so now that we have the exact layout that we want i have steve take a picture of it so that he can refer to it as he's installing the tile and now that he has the picture, he literally takes the tiles from exactly where they were on the floor and puts them up in the wall in the exact same place. So the design that we take from the floor is the exact that ends up on the wall. It looks like, I, I swear to God, it looks like they're in there and putting this thing together piece by piece with precision. I'm watching them put up the sides of the walls uh, the tiles are even on each side of the walls. The tiles are even at the very top. They're even at the very bottom. So it's very symmetrical the way that they're actually installing this. So watching this is incredible. So now that the tile work is done, I now I get to do all of the decorating. fun decorating part. When we were in the showroom speaking to Marissa and I had mentioned my father's, my grandfather's uh, Palm Springs home that had a walk-through shower that led out into a secret garden and she mentioned, oh, we should do something of that sort and that <clears throat> kept formulating in my head and I just thought, my gosh, how can I achieve that? And I did. I just, you walk through our garden first and then you walk into the shower, into the water. A garden would have just so much foliage and so much greenery everywhere that I, I need to put as much green in here as I can. I really like the movement of the tile. I like as walking in, uh, seeing the, the, the foliage to the sand color, to the floor tile, to the movement of the tile on the wall um, to the, the, the mitered edges. There's nothing broken. There's no, uh, a, a, everything is, is seamless as you look up that wall. So starting from what we thought was a, a very nice put together bathroom, but realized, you know, shortly after moving in that it had a leaking problem um, that we would have to attend to and fix. Um, We've never really done a whole design on our forever home that we want as, uh, this is our forever. And so to come up with a vision and work with people that can see it as well and accomplish it was just so amazing. And it, it, I love it. It's, it's one of my favorites. Going from uh, finding the problem, uh, realizing that it needed to be addressed and fixed, the feel of it is different, walking in is different, yeah. the way you decorated it is incredible. Uh, it, from, from start to finish, it's, it, it 
it, it was a nice bathroom. Now it's yes. an incredible bathroom. Now it's bathroom. incredible. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. I know your time is very valuable, and I hope that this video was entertaining, educational, and inspiring. And also, I'm just glad you're here because I can tell you that I love you, I love being your tile coach, and we'll see you on the next video.